there are a lot of quads coming out recently and these reviews are going to get really repetitive so i'm kind of going to go over them pretty quickly um, this is one from nameless rc and i have the 1s from beta with the bt2 connector i have the gtp who knows what from diatone and i have the actual three inch something or other from gep rc but let's go over this one first and i'll do the other videos a little bit later so this thing is i have no idea what it's called and it also to me looks like it's inspired by mass effect because this thing on top looks like it's a character and anyways so this is the nameless rc it's a toothpick or toothpick class quad however whatever you want to call it and it's using the nameless rc uh, regular all-in-one board not the actual toothpick board which is interesting because they actually made this after they they made the toothpick board for me so i don't know why they went with the regular all-in-one board maybe they just had a surplus of them and then they stuck the caddx in there with their 400 milliwatt vtx inside there as well the caddx uh, split camera the motors on here are 1103 8000 kv no idea what they are but they look like the old-fashioned uh, racer star motors i'm pretty sure they are the same motors um the motors are not fantastic they're all right um the frame is it's actually totally fine it's actually really nice that it has access to the usb port down here but um I have found that it's a little bit difficult to design that and get the strength of the frame that I like personally for my own personal builds. But in this product, it seems to be totally fine. It does have pretty good motor protection on the sides. The TPU print on the on the canopy is pretty nice. It does sort of protect everything except for the lens on there. But how does it actually fly? Um, oh yeah, also it's got the FR Sky receiver on there and I just have it hanging out here because I'm about to unsolder it to put it in the other quads because they don't come with receivers, which is really annoying. Anyways, so how does it actually fly? Um, so this has an 81 gram all up weight with a 2S, 450 milliamp battery. And in my opinion, and really just my opinion, it's up to you if you want to follow it or not. I don't think any toothpick 2.5 inch, 65 millimeter class, whatever quad flies well with anything over 73 grams all up weight. I know that the extra seven grams, seven, eight grams is not a huge amount numerically but if you look at the all-up weight it actually does like factor into the equation quite a bit 70 grams is quite a bit to an all-up weight that is 80 grams or 70 grams so around 72 grams is where I have found that every gram you pile on really impacts performance quite a bit and this is no different so this is a 2.5 inch prop and it, it may or may not have power. It doesn't matter. The power doesn't make a difference. It feels loose in the air. It doesn't feel like it's in control. It's just not really comfortable to fly, in my opinion. Coupled with the fact that the Cadex camera has a very constricted FPV field of view, makes this something that is just not enjoyable to fly for me. Maybe you want something like this. You're looking for the absolute tightest, smallest package that you can carry a Cadex and still get reasonable performance. And this may be for you. And with a little bit of tuning, I could get this thing to fly a lot better than it does right now. But you can even tell in my own flying that I, it's kind of really wonky to fly. It's hard to keep it going the direction that I want. I can't really see where I'm going because the field of view of the, of the FPV camera is not that great. But one thing good I can say is that the this, this is the first Cadex split micro nano whatever camera of the four that I've received that actually works properly. The FPV view for it works properly. The uh, HD view is nice and sharp all the way around. There's no weirdness. It I just turned it on and it worked. So <laughs> kudos to Cadex. I finally got something that works properly from them. You know, first time out. Also, that being said, I'm, I, I've i worked at Nameless RC before. They, they're professionals at what they do. Their production grade and production quality is pretty much up to par with any other company. Some of their things look different than other companies. Like, I personally think that beta boards and just the, the electronics from beta tend to look nicer. But in actual use in our store, now that I am associated with a store and I can't speak of these numbers with first-hand experience we have had a number of issues with the beta fpv boards that have not existed with the nameless rc boards even though the name the beta fpv board is is developed to a somewhat higher spec the escs that they're using on that toothpick board are technically better than the ones on the nameless rc board we have had far fewer failures and issues with the nameless rc board far fewer i mean it's been like i mean overall it hasn't been even five percent that doesn't mean an approach two percent but still it's like five of the nameless rc boards to 10 of the beta fpv boards and that's just a number that is kind of sort of starting to make 
a significant difference in my mind as to which one to go with, but I personally still prefer the beta, beta FPV board. I'm getting off topic now. So this quad is, is cool. I personally wouldn't recommend it. I do like the receiver, however. It's really nice and tidy and small and it works really well. Yeah, you can pick it up if you like, but I'm going to continue on with the other quads in the next couple videos. Anyways, floss your teeth. Take care. Bye.